you know when you're you're sure you tried a thing but you're not sure you've tried a thing because said thing is been around for such a long time <coughs> excuse me that it's become ubiquitous with um hot drinks and old people um but before we dive in too deep um you the if you could awfully mind if you wouldn't mind awfully awfully um doing the subscribing the ding in the bell the ding in the bell for some reason um but you can if you want to um also also this would be cool if you could share the videos and also comment all that would be peachy and now on with a review so this is horlicks horlicks which is the favorite drink of these two people here fishing and many an older person many an older person indeed and this came from waitrose if you need to know what's found within these are nutritional facts they're there is this made in spain or is that just the eu what am i doing anyway merseyside is produced by somebody yeah so all we need to do is just add some hot water I wonder what makes it not vegetarian. There's probably something in here. It's already got like beef in it or something. Anyway, we're not going to comment about the ingredients. We're going to try the beverage. So, boiling water, mug. We know what to do. And we're ready. There it is in my fire engine mug. Um, have to say I did actually smell as it came out of the packet and it doesn't smell of a lot and I've stirred it in here and it still doesn't smell of a lot. If you want to see what it looks like inside of the mug, there it is in all of its um, beigey glory. It kind of looks like really milky tea, which is fine because really milky tea is kind of good. Let's hope. This is either going to be familiar in a good way or not so good. Probably, maybe, hopefully, the good. So, um, cheers. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to pin that down to glad I've tried it. It's one of those things you you may or may not want to try and it's really good they come in those small packets so you don't have to waste a lot of money on a big jar. Because that's cool. It's got that going for it. Um, yeah, it's alright as a hot beverage. I think I'll stick to tea with the occasional coffee. Um, and hot chocolate. And gravy, but that's a, another story. Um, it's all right. It's something you would want to try, maybe if you're, if you're any way intrigued. But it's not. You'll know you'll like it if you want if you continue liking. It's yeah, glad I tried. So um, yeah, thanks for taking your time and. Um, I best finish this, it'd be a waste.